Hi, my little puffins, and welcome to this video. Today, I was supposed to draw something Christmassy, something for the Christmas. Since last week, I sneak started. You can say that, right? Sneak started, starts, started sneak, sneak. Sneaky, sneaky start <laughs> for Christmas. I was supposed to continue on that track to do Christmas themed videos until Christmas Eve. Uh, but then I realized, oh dear God, Moana. Moana has the premiere in the US and I couldn't hold myself. I had to draw something. I really, really want to see this movie. Like, seriously, I am really excited about it. But the problem is, it won't air in Sweden until in March. That is four month, months from the US premiere. I mean, seriously, guys, D do you even think that people will wait for four months to see it in their own country? Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, it's it's just so annoying to, to be just a thought to know that some people have seen it and there will be so much spoilers most likely on the internet and I am just so ticked off <laughs> with the thought that the US people you guys some of you guys <laughs> can see it while well, I can't, at least not legally. <laughs> so I will have to just wait and see what I will do, but I really want to see this movie, I mean seriously. It looks amazing and yeah, I, I really want to see it, but to wait four months, that is seriously a long time bet between two premieres. That is crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna talk about the artwork now. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about the movie or the ranting or anything. I'm just gonna focus on the drawing now. Uh, I was really pleased with the sketch when I was done with it because it looked... I'm sorry for saying this. It's, it sounds narcissistic to say it, but it looked amazing. I was really pleased with it and I couldn't wait to continue coloring it. But I let the sketch just dwell just wait for 24 hours before I before I continued on it with the, the colors and something went wrong I don't know what it was something in the middle between the sketch and the finished drawing just felt like chaos I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know how I was how I was coloring with the flat colors and the shading and everything. I didn't know how to make it look good. So I had a tremendous hard time to make it work in the middle between those two. And it was really, how to say, um, heartbreaking? No, not heartbreaking. That is really exaggerated. But I felt really um, confused in the coloring part because I don't know I was started to doubt myself with the coloring and I didn't know if it would suit the sketching style since I didn't do a crisp line art it's still a sketchy line art so I'm still working on how to make it look as good as possible uh, but yeah the middle part with the flat coloring and the shading and highlighting I was not fond at all at that product I mean at all I didn't like it uh, but in the finish when I started to add effects and everything that was when I realized this is this is good <laughs> seriously but the middle part was just chaos I didn't really have the inspiration anymore but as soon as I came to the finish and started to add the effects and lights and everything everything in the finish that's when was when I started to appreciate the drawing again and really think that this is a really really good piece of work I would have really liked her to look a little bit more like herself but at the same time I really like this style 
I don't know, I just really liked how I portrayed her in the end and it's a little different from her original style, I think, but I still like it. I'm sorry, I'm still like it. I still like it. <laughs> uh, so I used the reference from one of the trailers. Moana has several trailers. I think they have three different trailers. And in one of them there was a screen cap where some pe uh, pedals, pedals, pebbles, pebbles, no pedals. Oh, the English. Is it pedals or pebbles? Some pedals of leaves and flowers was blowing beside her and behind her and yeah. I'm <laughs> uh, making a fool out of myself. It's okay. <laughs> so I saw that part of the trailer and I really wanted to draw that part. So I took a screen cap and I started to draw. So there is a reference for this drawing. Uh, which is worth mentioning. You can see it, see the uh, reference in one of the trailers. I think it is number three. I'm not sure. I believe it is number three, but you can check it out or just look through three trailers and to see the screen cap. <laughs> if you have some extra time over, I don't know. As some of you know also, uh, about one year ago, or it is one year ago, because I drew Moana one year ago when it was first known that there would be a movie of Moana, called Moana. Um, and already then I s wanted to draw her, so I made an attempt. There was no, basically no references at all of how she looked like. There were some vague ones, so you really had to put your own mind to it and make your own design, I would say. So there was r very little references, so you had to just think for yourself. Uh, so if you want to see that drawing that was made with Copics and it's here on YouTube. I can put a link down below in the description so you can find it easily uh, Or I can just leave it in the outro so you can have a direct link there um, But yeah, I drew her back then and that was one year ago So time flies so I wanted to draw her again and this one is in digital and it's basically the same pose just a little different and the differences between the two pieces is very different. Uh, it, it, I believe it is noticeable that I have developed during this year. That I've learned some things and some things maybe I haven't learned yet. <laughs> and that is the beauty with art, you always learn something new. <laughs> But yeah, as you see here, here is the finished drawing and it is... I love it. I'm sorry for saying it, but I love it. <laughs> and here are some previous videos you can check out. And as I said, there is the link to my previous Moana drawing. So click right there if you want to see it. And thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to make sure to not miss out on any content. And I see you in the next one. Bye my little puffins.